For centuries or more, tales of creatures of mythological origin have captivated us. Everything from supernatural monsters and other cool fantasy creatures, they continue to through books, film, but Japanese giant salamanders can grow up to five feet in length, television and many other media sources. Sometimes these creatures are purely symbolic and offer us a closer look at a particular culture's fears, desires or values. Other times, as you're about to see, they're all too real possibly never seen again. 15 mythical creatures that were only seen once. Number 15. Goblin. A few seconds into this video, you can clearly see the appearance of a tiny creature while this person is filming their son. Apparently, the family regularly observed the child playing and talking to himself in his room, but had never worried because they thought it was normal for a child this age. But one day, this young boy was playing in the hallway when his father noticed a bit of nervousness and decided to record his behavior. Then he noticed something running in the background. He thought it was just a mouse. Then he captured this insane footage of some sort of goblin running past his son. For several years, the family kept this secret until recently. They decided to show this evidence and posted it online. Things didn't end there. Apparently, the kid continued playing with these entities over the years. The family continued to endure the continued presence of these alleged goblins. But while they did not seem aggressive, the smell they leave is unbearable. What do you think? Filmed in Mexico, a goblin is often referred to as El Duende locally. It's said that it's a little man that only appears either on remote roads to rural villages or when women are alone in their houses. Could this be the elusive El Duende? The video does check off a lot of goblin boxes. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Look out this mysterious mermaid creature found in Mexico. But we've got to admit, it doesn't look like any mermaid we've ever seen. It features and looks even less human than it does like fish. So what's the deal? In August 2014, early visitors to Pajapan Beach in the Mexican state of Veracruz stumbled upon a strange scene. Tangled among strands of seaweed was what appeared to be a dead humanoid. The top half looked like a human. The bottom half was scaly and ended in a large flipper. Before authorities arrived to take it away, people immediately identified it as the remains of a real mermaid. However, it was not a flesh and bone creature. The Veracruz mermaid turned out to be a prop from the movie Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, starring Johnny Depp and Orlando Bloom, which had been filming nearby back in 2011. Maybe this mysterious Mexican mermaid creature is just some sort of prop oddity and not the real thing. Or maybe we just don't want it to be real. The mer creature is terrifying. What do you think? Leave your comments with the hashtag open discussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Hydra. The hydra is a tiny, seemingly immortal organism that lives in tropical fresh waters. It has neither eyes nor a brain, but does have a big mouth and an uncanny ability to regenerate every part of itself despite the most catastrophic injury. Because of this, they're constantly regenerating their own bodies, replacing all of their cells every 20 days. This strange creature never ages. This is due to its high multitude of stem cells. Half of the cells in their body are, in fact, stem cells. They only make up a tiny percentage of our bodies, and because stem cells degrade over time, that's why we age. But a hydra can make near-perfect copies of its stem cells, basically forever. The hydra is able to achieve biological immortality. When one of the hydra's tentacles is cut from its body, for example, its stem cells transform into the type needed to perform the tentacle's function. The hydra is even able to regrow two new whole bodies. Scientists are studying the Hydra as it may ultimately lead to better anti-aging treatments. And if scientists can duplicate how the Hydra avoids aging using those cells, the same process may apply to people even to regrow their limbs. Number 13. River Monster The River Thames is a river that flows through southern England including London. And footage like this is quite alarming. A rising black hump in the river. It's a sea monster in the city's great waterway. Or is it a lost whale? And what is it about bodies of water that invite us to fill them with real or imagined monsters? The stories of the Loch Ness Monster increased in the 1930s when the new road was built alongside the lake where it's rumored to live. 
Even writer Virginia Woolf pronounced, in her playful way, on the apparently prehistoric beast as relayed to her by a charming couple she'd met at a lockside inn. Or perhaps it was Charles Darwin's banishment of monsters and dragons a century before that encouraged superstitious civilians to invent new myths to take their place. Even today, it's tough to say exactly what this is in the River Thames, but it could just be a whale. In fact, many whales have come up the river, living and dead for centuries. The Thames itself remains oddly mysterious. Its silly waters might be the perfect place for monsters to conceal themselves but it can't be the Loch Ness Monster since that's in Scotland, unless Nessie decided to take a holiday. Number 12. Kraken When a squid attacked the remote-operated vehicle, it couldn't help but remind researchers of one of the world's most talked-about sea monsters, the Kraken. Sea creatures feature prominently in seafarer tales around the world. In Greek and Roman mythology, there are tales of great battles between man and marine monsters like the Kraken capable of pulling ships underwater. It's thought that giant colossal and Humboldt squid are aggressive, opportunistic creatures that prey on anything that comes their way. From easy meals of fish and shrimp to a more sporting hunt of other large cephalopods and whales. The Humboldt, specifically, are known to be fierce, cannibalistic fighters. Mexican fishermen have nicknamed them Diablos Rojos, or Red Devils. In other modern accounts, a squid of colossal dimensions figured in Jules Verne's 1869 novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, said to be a fictionalized account of a real encounter between a French Navy ship and a giant squid. In the 1930s, the Norwegian Navy's 15,000-ton tanker was attacked three separate times by giant squid. It certainly isn't the only account of squid attacking ships, and as you can see, it won't be the last. Number 11. Unicorn Is this real-life footage of an actual unicorn in the wild? A video depicting what could be one of the most elusive legendary creatures, the unicorn, has been captured on film by a Canadian resident. The video in question shows what appears to be a white horse with a single horn on his head emerging from the trees in the Don Valley wetland near Toronto. Or what about this video of a unicorn grazing on grass in Wales? The unicorn, a mythical creature popularized in European folklore, has captivated the human imagination for over 2,000 years. For most of that time, well into the Middle Ages, people also believed them to be real. The roots of the unicorn myth date back at least as far as 400 BCE, when a Greek historian first documented a unicorn-like animal in his writings on the region of India. Descriptions of the unicorn can be traced throughout the following centuries in the writings of other prominent historical figures, such as Aristotle, Pliny the Elder, and even Julius Caesar. These are accounts describing the unicorn as ferocious, swift, and impossible to capture with a magical horn. So, if these videos of modern-day unicorns are authentic, people aren't ever going to stop talking about these magical, mythical creatures. Number 10. Chupacabra For years, legends of the blood-sucking monsters have been passed on, fueled by a succession of alleged carcasses, sightings, and tall tales. An integral part of the southern USA and Latin folklore, the chupacabra is among the most popular. It's a semi-regular guest star in cable documentaries and local news reports. And now, TikTok. So has this mythical creature actually been caught on tape? You decide. The chupacabra got its name from the Spanish words chupar, which means to suck, and cabra, which means goat. Believers say the monster acts like a vampire, draining the blood of livestock. Stories of El Chupacabra first surfaced in 1995 in Puerto Rico when dead, blood-drained goats began showing up. But what does it really look like? That same year, a newspaper printed an eyewitness description of a bipedal creature, four to five feet tall with spikes down its back, long, thin arms and legs, and an alien-like oblong head with red eyes. That depiction became associated with El Chupacabra, and reports of similar creatures began popping up throughout the Caribbean, in Latin America, Mexico, and Florida. Plus, it was one of the first mythical beasts discovered in the internet age, and its image and story spread around the world. Number 9. Abominable Snowman Workers at a Spanish ski resort have combined part of the tourist hotspot after a skier posted footage appearing to show an abominable snowman in Spain. The shaky camera footage and pictures appear to show the mysterious creature. It sparked a frenzied debate over whether a yeti was on the loose or if it was a hoax. The Yeti is a mysterious bipedal creature said to live in the mountains of Asia. 
Yet despite dozens of expeditions into the remote mountain regions of China and Nepal, nothing's been found. The Russian government took an interest in the Yeti and even organized a conference of experts in western Siberia. And researchers claim that they saw evidence that the Yeti not only existed, but also built nests and shelters out of twisted tree branches. The group made headlines around the world when they issued a statement that they had an indisputable proof of the Yeti and were 95% sure it existed based on some gray hairs found in a clump of moss in a cave. The footage, however, was from Spain. The Yeti is said to be muscular, covered with hair, and weigh between 200 and 400 pounds. Most of the evidence for the Yeti comes from sightings and reports much like this. But like Bigfoot, there's a distinct lack of hard proof. Number 8. Mermaid This creature, according to the fast-growing local legends in Israel, have been performing acrobatic tricks for people watching before disappearing beneath the Mediterranean waves. According to numerous reports, the mermaid-like sea creature looks like a cross between a little girl and a dolphin and only comes out at sunset. One of the first people to see the mermaid said, At first, I thought she was just another sunbather, but when we approached, she jumped into the water and disappeared. We were all in shock because we saw she had a tail. It's not clear what people are seeing, though the power of suggestion and imagination can be strong. Identifying animals in water is inherently problematic since eyewitnesses by definition are only seeing a small part of the creature. When you add in the factor of low light at sunset and the distances involved, positively identifying even a known creature can be very difficult. The town's tourism board is, however, delighted with their newfound fame and local mystery fauna. The government has even offered a $1 million reward for the first person to photograph the creature. Perhaps it's a hoax, an optical illusion, or a simple misperception of a known animal. Number 7. Fairies A British professor named John Hyatt is getting a swarm of attention for a series of photos depicting tiny creatures that he suggests look like fairies. See for yourself. He took the photos around Lancashire in the United Kingdom, saying that he spotted the tiny creatures after taking pictures at dusk. When he enlarged the photographs later in the studio, he saw these figures. The creatures in his photos don't look like normal insects. It was a bit of a shock when I blew them up. I did a double take, he told the press. Hyatt's photos have skeptics buzzing around him like flies. In fact, flies are what the photos actually show, according to insect experts. The creatures are most likely a small species of fly known as the midge. These tiny midges form mating swarms where the males will dance around trying to attract the opposite sex. They have delicate wings and long legs which dangle down. Hyatt isn't worried about skeptics, saying people can decide for themselves what they are. What does the word fairy make you think of? Disney-style little girls with wings and cute faces? If you've lived in the UK in the 19th century or earlier, serious belief in these otherworldly creatures was once firmly ingrained in popular consciousness. Number 6. Fallen Angel Man has claimed the existence of many weird creatures over the years, be it ghosts or aliens, demons, and of course, angels. So when Richard Christensen from Arizona came across this, he grabbed the opportunity of taking a picture. Are those wings? Is this proof angels exist? As expected, the picture went viral, with thousands of people guessing all sorts of answers. Some claimed it would be a demon, while others insisted it's simply a tree. That being said, let's talk about some of the bad boys of several religions, fallen angels. Everyone knows what angels are, wings, halos, all kinds of bright lights, the heavenly grace. The fallen angel, most people think, is of the Christian version Lucifer, who challenged God and fell from heaven. But he's definitely not the only one, and different religious traditions even have their own very different pantheons of fallen angels. As for this picture, some say it's a mythical creature visiting Earth, while some believe it's just a photo of something shaped like a mythical creature. Whatever you think, you have to acknowledge that the cameraman did a fantastic job snapping a picture that will keep people guessing. Number 5. Werewolf The city of Amarillo, Texas has asked the public for help identifying a weird animal-like figure that was seen on security cameras outside the Amarillo Zoo recently. People have lots of guesses, but no one knows for sure what the seemingly bipedal cryptid could be. Is it a person with a strange hat who likes to walk at night? Do you have any ideas of what this UAO, unidentified Amarillo object, could be? The city asked on its social media. Firstly, people thought werewolf. 
Clearly, it's Rocket the Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy, one person commented. Though Rocket is a fictional character and it's extremely unlikely he's been brought to life, another user speculated it was somebody giving someone a piggyback ride. It could very well be two people we're looking at rather than a single furry creature. Plenty of people on social media have also guessed that it looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. Members of the zoo were looking at footage from cameras placed throughout the premises when they came across the photo. The now famous picture overlooks an open area of the park right outside the zoo that doesn't receive heavy traffic. After conferring with other co-workers, they reached a consensus. Nobody could figure out what it was. Number 4. Nightcrawlers You're looking at one of the most infamous cryptids in the world. Also known as the Fresno Alien, the unidentified cryptid has also had two confirmed appearances so far. Both of the appearances were in California, one in Fresno and one in Yosemite National Park and recently footage of a similar creature turned up in Poland. So maybe there are more of these night crawlers than we thought. Most people have claimed that the crawler wasn't more than six feet tall. It also had disproportionately long legs with a very small upper body. Since all footage is of very low quality, there isn't much detail available about its upper body. Based on what's available, the Fresno night crawler has been described as a thin, white humanoid with no arms. The knee and the torso seem to be connected by webs. The Fresno Nightcrawler also has very thin feet, almost resembling stilts. The knees are bent backwards too. So these are some of the explanations that most people have come up with. A prankster walking on stilts and wearing gigantic pants, a species of primate that still hasn't been discovered, a deer standing upright, wire-controlled puppets, a bird, and of course, an extraterrestrial creature. Is the Nightcrawler cryptid the real deal? Despite this footage, it's largely been seen as a hoax. Number 3. Nessie Has the Loch Ness Monster accidentally been filmed on a drone camera at Great Glen River in Scotland? Looks that way. The footage shows a mysterious shape near the banks, a Nessie-shaped shadow that wriggles as the camera gets closer. There was no driftwood in the vicinity, and the shadow had the same shape as previous sightings too. Nessie or not, one of the first sightings of the so-called Loch Ness Monster, believed to have fueled modern Nessie fever, came in 1933. The local newspaper carried a story about a local couple who claimed to have seen an enormous animal rolling and plunging on the surface. Is this Nessie Returns the sequel? Not at all. Rumors of a strange creature living in the waters of Loch Ness have abound over the decades, yet scant evidence has been found to back up these claims. Yet, an online register lists more than a thousand total Nessie sightings. And there have been even more theories of what the Loch Ness Monster is, ranging from wind slicks on the river, deceptive reflections, plant debris and boat wakes. Even the implausible anacondas, killer whales, you name it. Number 2. Sea Serpent Often mistaken as a giant serpent of the sea, the truth about this snake-like creature is that it's actually a fish. Giant oarfish can grow to lengths of over 50 feet, but these creatures have only been seen alive a handful of times. With humongous eyes allowing them to navigate the deepest parts of the ocean and bodies that grow longer than a school bus, disbelief is a natural response. Oarfish are the likely source of sea serpent myths that sprung up over centuries across most maritime cultures around the world. Those fortunate enough to have seen them at the sea surface have noted their heads sticking out of the water as their remarkably long bodies slither along below. Some experts have speculated that the creatures move to shallower waters when they sense electromagnetic changes caused by tectonic movement related to active faults, fueling the popular belief that beached oarfish are an omen of earthquakes or tsunamis to come. But there is no connection. Unless you're small enough to be nabbed by an oarfish's small toothless mouth, the animal is harmless. Ironically, the same animal that inspired horrifying tales of deadly sea monster encounters feed entirely on tiny plankton. Number 1. Kappa The Japanese giant salamander is a very big deal, also known as Kappa in Japan, which means river child. These are the second largest salamander species in the world, reaching lengths of up to 5 feet and weighing up to 55 pounds. And mythologically speaking, Kappa monsters were believed to be more like people, usually seen as mischievous troublemakers. Their actions range from looking up women's kimonos, if they venture too near the water, to drowning people and animals, kidnapping children, and at times eating human flesh. But these salamanders do no such thing. They're native to Japan and can be found in the country's central highland mountainous regions. 
A few populations have also been discovered living on some of the smaller southern islands adjacent to the main island of Japan. And they're mostly aquatic and live in cold, fast-flowing water where oxygen is in good supply. During the day, Japanese giant salamanders hide under large rocks under the water's edge to stay concealed. Japanese giant salamanders are carnivorous and eat a variety of animals, including fish, insects, crayfish, snails, and small mammals. They have extremely slow metabolisms and can go weeks without eating, if necessary, and can live for more than 70 years. Okay, we'll admit it, some of these things may have been seen more than once, but make no mistake, seeing any of these mythical creatures face to face, like the ones we've seen in these videos, is a once-in-a-lifetime experience.